We uh, did an investigation of the um, newsfeed algorithm of Instagram. The um, investigation started when we learned from a source that um, for professional content creators, it was very hard to reach their audience, to reach their followers when they uh, posted uh, pictures of themselves with um, clothes on. Uh, they had the feeling that Instagram uh, encouraged them to uh, post pictures in bikini or in underwear. So what we did is uh, we interviewed a lot of content creators. We looked at uh, statements from Facebook, which owns Instagram, uh, and from uh, engineers at Facebook. And what was uh, new is that we built um, an infrastructure uh, to look at what um, actual Instagram users saw in their news feeds. So we um, asked several volunteers to install a browser plugin, uh, and this plugin then, uh, then recorded what they saw in their news feed. Uh, and with this information, we could uh, say with uh, some certainty uh, that it was true that Instagram was uh, pushing photos of people who were um, scantily clothed, um, that Instagram was pushing such pictures up and was uh, pushing other kinds of pictures down. The investigation had some um, eco. Uh, many news organizations uh, talked about it. Uh, many Instagram users talked about it. Uh, so in this sense, it did have, um, it did help in um, bringing the issue of algorithmic decision making by Instagram in the public discourse. The contribution of our investigation is also to show that it is very hard to hold uh, big tech to account. Facebook reacted in different ways. Um, first, they did not answer the questions we asked them uh, and instead sent uh, a short statement saying that our research was um, wrong, but they did not explain how it was wrong. So um, this is um, not a statement with which we could do uh, anything. Uh, then they, after many uh, news organizations uh, mentioned our investigation, they um, sent a statement um, on their Twitter, um, on their official Twitter account, so the uh, Instagram communication Twitter account, where they uh, mischaracterized our research, which raises doubts if they understood it at all. Um, they corrected after um, I and others uh, told them that they uh, mischaracterized it. So it. In a sense, it's good that uh, Facebook had to um, communicate on the issue of the uh, newsfeed algorithm. Uh, a few weeks later, they even uh, said that they provided uh, new information about how the algorithm works, which unfortunately uh, is false because the information they uh, produced was not verifiable. What's important to keep in mind is that this kind of investigations can only be done by using both uh, data journalism and uh, traditional investigation method methods. We continued working on the tool um, by increasing its uh, capacity. Uh, for instance, we collected uh, information about the number of likes and comments uh, under each post. Uh, we built a Chrome um, browser extension on top of the Firefox um, add-on. And we conducted a follow-up uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, in this case, we had uh, close to 650 volunteers um, who took part in this experiment um, and who followed um, politicians and political parties in the Netherlands. Uh, and the results of this investigation were published uh, in early March uh, by a major uh, Dutch news outlet.